Good morning and welcome to a special edition of uh, What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. I'm your host, Pete Pardo. Uh, today is Thursday, December the 8th. You know, I was going to sit here today and talk to you about the uh, new releases from the Neil Morse Band and the Rolling Stones and a whole host of other things, but uh, something else has come up and uh, we're going to have to put that uh, on the back burner for now because uh, we just learned this morning of the passing of another legend, uh, a truly great one, and that is uh, Greg Lake uh, of Emerson, Lake and Palmer, and King Crimson, uh, who's left us way too soon at the age of 69. Uh, Greg has passed from cancer, and uh, this just kind of continues this horrible 2016 where we've lost so many of our musical heroes. Hopefully, now that we're at the end of the year, that'll be it. And we can enjoy the holidays and not have to grieve anymore. But this one's a tough one. You know, Greg Lake has long been very special to me, as I'm sure he is to many of you. Uh, the voice of generations. I mean, um, you don't have to be a fan of progressive rock to appreciate what Greg Lake has done with uh, both Emerson Lake and Palmer and King Crimson, as well as uh, his solo material. I mean, uh, you know, great musician, great bass player, fantastic guitar player. Uh, but what he's mostly known for is his songwriting skills and, of course, that voice. That just lovely voice that just transcends time. Um, so many classic tunes. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here today talking about everything, but I just want to do a quick tribute to Greg Lake's career um, because I think we're all going to be doing that over the next couple days. And uh, yeah, this, this is hard to take. Um, this is where it all began. So, King Crimson and the Court of Crimson King, <clears throat> that unmistakable voice basically hit us for the first time. And, you know, the title track, the lovely I Talk to the Wind, um, 21st century schizoid man, that angry edge there. Uh, but then, you know, you've got the gorgeous, and for me, my favorite vocal performance from Greg Lake ever. Uh, epitaph, you know, it just sends chills. It's just so powerful, so moving. You know, the Mellotrons in the background and the soaring vocals, just, you know, it's incredible. So, you know, this will kind of put him on the map. <clears throat> he did one more album with King Crimson, In the Wake of Poseidon. Some great tunes on here as well. Uh, for many people, this kind of was a direct continuation of uh, In the Court of the Crimson King. For me, those albums go hand in hand, side by side. Uh, and they're mandatory Greg Lake listening, as well as, you know, obviously, mandatory King Crimson albums. You know, he left King Crimson to go form the supergroup Emerson, Lake and Palmer with uh, former um, Arthur Brown and Atomic Rooster drummer Carl Palmer and Keith Emerson from the Nice. And, you know, their first debut album, 1970, of course, is a you know, bonafide classic when it was released. It's still, you look back in time and it's still... An incredible release, you know. Um, we're listening to Take a Pebble in the background. You've got Knife Edge, Tank, um, you know, Lucky Man, The Barbarian, all great tunes. But, of course, it's the vocal tunes we're going to kind of hone in on right now. You know, Lucky Man, for a lot of people, an overplayed, you know, pop classic, rock classic, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a pop song um, with, you know, Greg's wonderful vocals over acoustic guitar, uh, and then Keith Emerson coming at the end with that amazing uh, Moog synthesizer solo, and you know it's it's a bonafide classic. But it's the it's the vocals. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous um, lead vocals from Lake. Uh, you know, Take a Pebble's a revelation on here as well. You know, a knife edge, heavier tune. Again, he can do that kind of um, you know more mellow as well as you know with some aggression. He's always good at that. Uh, you know, the Tarkus album. A classic Emerson Lake and Palmer album and again you know probably this album more of a vehicle for Keith Emerson's uh, keyboard skills but you know you've got the quirky Jeremy Bender uh, on here and one of my favorite uh, tunes um, you know because it's just it's just so quirky uh, is um, Are You Ready Eddie uh, but there's also Bitches Crystal and uh, The Only Way Time and a Place you know it's all really really great stuff you know, another one of my favorite ELP albums is Trilogy, and The Endless Enigma, From the Beginning, gorgeous, gorgeous song. Again, that's uh, one of my top three Greg Lake songs of all time, um, just masterful 
acoustic guitar passages, and of course that voice. What else is on here? You know, the Sheriff trilogy, Abaddon's Bolero, all great stuff. Again, what was always so fantastic about ELP is you had, you know, voice of Lake, the keyboard skills of Emerson, the gymnastic drumming of Carl Palmer. They put it all together and just kind of made this once in a lifetime sound, allowing all three to shine, uh, but never one at the expense of the other. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, as bombastic as ELP's music was uh, most of the time, you know, Greg Lake's vocals kind of brought it down to earth. That's one of the, the things he was always able to do. You know, and the band kind of put it all together uh, on this classic, you know, uh, brain salad surgery. Just a, uh, a landmark album in the annals of progressive rock. You know, what do you got on here? <clears throat> Jerusalem. I mean, come on. Vocally, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, still, you turn me on. I'm going to go back to what I said a minute ago about one of my top three favorite Greg Lake sung tunes. That's one of them. Another fantastic tune with, uh, <clears throat> you know, great acoustic guitar work. Uh, you got that wah-wah guitar section uh, coming up. It's just, it's just great. You know, Benny the Bouncer, another fun tune. But, you know, more importantly, the, the, the extended suite Carnival 9 uh, in all its glory and its many parts. And again, it's lots of bombast and explosive Keith Emerson keyboards, but it's, you know, Greg Lake kept up with them every step of the way, you know, masterful vocal ability on this classic epic, uh, you know, just fantastic stuff. And then, you know, uh, ELP broke up for a bit. Uh, Greg put out some solo albums, you know, these uh, first two included in this one set, you know, hooked up with Gary Moore, Irish guitar player extraordinaire for some really good like hard rock almost like metal and just good power pop uh, Greg Lake showed he, he could you know move on from Prague and do some more mainstream stuff uh, you know nuclear attack come on killer song killer guitar playing from Gary Moore but again you know it's the vocals of Greg Lake and it's uh, another testament to his skills that he was able to you know, continue on after ELP and do some pretty successful stuff. You know, maybe not to the success of ELP, but, um, you know, and then uh, when the call for ELP kind of came again, you know, Mr. Palmer was busy with Asia, so enter one Cozy Powell for the Emerson, Lake and Powell album, you know, Touch and Go, a lot of great songs, The Miracles on here, just, you know, fantastic. But again, another really good symphonic prog rock album. Greg's vocals in the mid 80s were still very, very strong, and you had the fantastic instrumentation. So, you know, just some of my favorite um, albums and songs from Greg Lake. And of course, seeing as it's a couple weeks before Christmas, who can forget, you know, Father Christmas, uh, one of the most endearing and beloved uh, holiday songs from a prog rock artist ever. And uh, you can bet a lot of people are going to be playing that song in the days and weeks to come as we lead to the holidays. So, um, yeah, it's a tough day. It's, uh, you know, this is a guy who's meant a lot to many people. And as he's more known as a vocalist, you know, it's those vocal melodies and harmonies that everybody always remembers. So, you know, try getting Lucky Man and Still You Turn Me On and Father Christmas uh, out of your head for the next couple of days. It's, it's not going to be easy. So um, from all of us at uh, Sea of Tranquility, uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Great Lake family and uh, to all the fans. So um, we can all grieve, but um, you know, I think the important thing is to go out and celebrate the life of Great Lake and uh, pull out your ELP and King Crimson albums today and spin them in. Think, think back on all the great memories uh, they've proven to you throughout your life, and, uh, and and how many, you know, more great memories you'll have with uh, his great music as the soundtrack to our lives. So, um, rest in peace. See you next time.